Que loja. Vem ouvir, escritou. Eu já não estou no morador, estou no Rosa, ele. Next me, right? Oh, I'm going to wait for my mom, right? for Luis e Vila Gomes. She's going to sit there. She's Oh, hello. It's Sofia Perez. I don't... Huh? Sofia. Sofia Perez from Marana's Variety. You know it, girl. Oh, my goodness. That's why I almost... I didn't want to say mom. <laughs> huh? I almost said mom because my mom's... I'm expecting my mom. Oh, shoot. Well, sorry, I'm not your mom. Uh -huh. That's good. Yes, so this is great. So, um, so Annalie, I'm here with the cameraman from Mayanis Variety, and, and if we could, we would love to film a quick, um, like, conversation with you. Yeah, sure. I'm recording myself right now as well. I didn't know you were going to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I thought they told you. Um, but, so it's okay if we film this conversation? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, pretty quick, we're going to, um, just, like, introduce everything, but they're setting up the cameras right now. So, um, can we start, like, doing our, our interview in, like, five minutes? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think it's fine with, uh, Nemo, right? It's fine with who? Um, the office? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're all here. Okay, roger that. I'll wait. That's fine. And, um, it's nice to hear from you. Um... I heard you have a letter for me, and I, that's great. Yeah, 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 I have a contract for you, and um, have you been doing any, like, video diaries? Because if you do, when you come back, it's like, Marianne's Variety will totally buy those. I have so many, but I lost a lot, but I gave you most of them, and then after that, I have made more, so many. I love taking all these videos. Yay, but do you have anywhere you're like pointed at you and you're like, oh, I'm Annalie and I'm doing this today, stuff like that? Uh, no, I haven't really been doing much of that unless it's something else um, like necklaces and stuff. But other than the place, yeah, a little bit of that around the place. No, around Early, the place. You should make a bunch of those because like I'm telling you, MV will like buy all that stuff. I talked to Lila and she's super interested. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lila Eunice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The publisher of Mariana Friday. Right. Cool. I am going to do a lot of that then. I mean, I've been doing it, but not necessarily saying my name. Yeah, act like you're like a show host because that's what you're going you're to be, you know? Um, do you want everybody else to volunteer? I mean, they'll probably be interested in whatever, you know, if you want to introduce them and, and have them in the videos, like whatever you think would yeah. make for good, you know, yeah, YouTube okay, videos. Yeah. No, I've been trying, but I'm ashamed to ask. So now that everybody's here and they're hearing everything and, and it's legit, then yeah, they can hear you. Okay, yeah. And if any of them want to respond to questions, that would be totally fine. You know, like we'd love to hear everybody's perspective. I'm pretty sure that if I leave, because I'm leaving on this next trip coming, um, they're they're gonna have some videos. But if you wanna get them into selling them to you, it's up to you. You gotta talk to them. Yeah, see if they're interested. You know, like anything's gonna be interesting. I'm you know what I mean? For it. That's true. I know what you mean, man. Oh, man. <laughs> What's I gonna say? Um, oh, and have you written anything? You should write stuff too for the paper. I was writing stuff down, but it was just uh, thrown away. So I'll do it again. Yeah, right? Like, I swear to God, like, it's all going to be gold. And um, the next time the ship comes up, are you going to come back uh, on the return ship? Or should I send a contract up because you're going to stay up there? No, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going back because my dad's not feeling well. Um, I could honestly stay, but my dad's not feeling well. My mom needs me. But, um... In the future, again, I, I there's no way I'm not going to come back. I'm coming back again. Okay, so so when you come back, um, let's you and me get together, and we'll meet up with Lila, and we can make sure that everything is set up. And, and yeah, you'll you'll have, I'm sure, like a, like a big check that you can get. You know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds good. And then, like I said, you can hook up with these guys that are staying behind because they got good stuff, too. 
Bobby, you know what I'll probably do is when that boat comes up, um, maybe I'll send up some contracts for them. I would actually approve to that. I, I think that's a great idea. There's so much here. So, um, who do you think would be interested? Because if uh, we're going to send up a contract, then I should have like their names and all that. Would you like for me to give those information when I get there? Um, why not just send the contract? Because there's nothing much to do here. Why not? No? Well, so, yeah, the only thing is the contract has to have, you know, a space, has to have their names on it and a space for them to sign. So we would just need basically the people who are interested, their information. Well, I can write the letter down, um, whatever way you want. Just give me an idea and then I'll write it down with their names and then they can sign it. Oh, um, okay. I mean, I just, I have to run it by Lila. You know what I mean? So, um, maybe what I'll anyway. do is, so the only thing is, so would, would they want to make videos, like video blogs, or would they want to do writing? Do you know? No, just pictures and videos. I think you're going to have to do the rest. Um, I would also just go ahead and see if they want to sign a paper stating that they will be willing to get into the Marana's variety deal for you. Just in advance for Lila. Right, right, yeah, it would have to be in advance. Um, I guess I'll, I'll ask Lila, um, but like, can you give me, like, what information can I give Lila about these guys that are interested? Huh? Give Lila. What guys? Who guys? Um, your guys or my guys? Your guys, the ones up there that would maybe want to do, make content. What is she asking for? Um, the contract, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I, I got lost there for a second. Okay, sorry. So my question is, like, if, so the next boat comes up, right? Yeah. And you're coming back on it. Right. But then that's like the one opportunity for however many months to give someone over there a contract. Right. If they're going to do more video articles, and then they can sign it and send it back to the variety. And then we'll wait for them to make the content. And the next oh. time a boat comes up. They yeah, can yeah, send, yeah. like, uh, you know, an SD card back. Right. And then the Variety knows that they can publish it, and then when they eventually come home, uh, the Variety can pay them. So if I go and I pitch that idea to Lila, I need to know their names and, like, a good argument for why, like, she should send them a contract. You know, like, with you, I could say, well, she's really talkative. She's, like, mm -hmm. you know, she takes great videos. She's photogenic, and, like, she's going to be really interesting, and that's why you should do this, and this right. is her name. But with these guys, I don't even know their names. Okay, well, the office have their names, um, and I have their names, but um, as far as your idea, that's a good idea because then it is actually very legit, you know, it's not like sloppy. So yeah, that's great. Send the contract over and they can send an SD card with it signed, so that way it's all legit. Legal. Okay, cool. So maybe ask them about it and see if they're interested. And then the next time Nemo radios over there, because um, we're being recorded send, right now, give them a message to send me, and and you can give them you know their names and the kind of content that they would want to create, okay. and then I can pass that along to Lila. Does that sound okay? Okay, that sounds great. Um, I will talk to them. I think they agree to this, but um, yeah, they do agree to it, and um, I say it's a great idea because I did mention it to Ed. Um months ago and because I'm leaving Nate so he's agreed to it before and it looks like he's agreeing to it again and we have also Chris Kaipat here the office knows their names okay cool um yeah so yeah just let them know next time we radio in and I'll pass it along Lila isn't even on island right now so it should be uh I mean you know this will all be something that comes up that happens over the next couple weeks so what do you want with the information that you already have from me? Remember the first one, the SD card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I would love from you so is like uh, written diary entry type oh, things of like, this is yeah. what I do every day. This is what I'm thinking about. Like, this is how we maintain our lifestyle. This is how I feel about the Northern the Island, general. stuff like that with like pictures. And then also like if you can just like set up like a selfie video and then like, you know, walk us through the camp or like show people spear fishing yeah. or, you know, you know, just setting up like basically just show the lifestyle. I know what you mean because I always wanted to write down the basics and what I've experienced, what I expected, ex you know, and all that stuff. Okay, I can do that. That's going to be fascinating. 
everyone's going to want to know what yeah. is going on over there. That's so I'm so I'm excited here. to read it. Yep. I am with you because that's why I'm here for um, PSS. But now that you're in the picture, even better. Thank you very much for this. God is so good. Dude, I'm so excited. Thank you. Um, oh, so we're actually, we got the camera set up and we're ready oh, to start the official interview <laughs> if you're ready. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm even recording myself. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. So I'm just going to um, introduce it and then I'm going to like, radio in and be like, Annalie, thank you so much for talking to us today. And, you know, how's the weather in Agree then or whatever? Does that sound good? <laughs> yeah, now my hands are, my palms are sweating, but yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. So just this a second, okay? Starts. I'm just going to introduce the thing. Oh, oh. oh my God, we already started. Shit. <laughs> Did she say for me to talk? Oh. Hey, so it's not going to be my mom, right? It's fine. She's up. Jeremy was my mom the one or her? Huh? Annalie, do you read me? Oh. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. How's the weather in Agrigan? The weather in Agrigan, it's great clouds right now. It's been like this for two days, but it's nice because it's not pouring. Huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. Um, I have a million questions for you. <laughs> Uh, but I guess the first one is, what did you have for breakfast today? Jeremy? <laughs> I had mangoes and bananas. That sounds bomb. Um, can you tell me a little bit about life on Agrigan? Yes, the life in Agrigan is very nice. It's actually very peaceful the one thing i really like about this place is that you don't have neighbors to worry about so you're at peace completely what else it does sound peaceful but i can't help but wonder what happens when a typhoon passes by can you tell me like the protocol so i came here in august 15 and it was typhoon season so the typhoon when it does come here usually i'm used to it coming around once a year but this time it came like four times and it never really hit us, which was very, very fortunate for us. I heard it really hit Saipan. We saw the newspapers that came in as in our packages, used as a cushion. And um, yeah, you guys got really hit. Now, as far as the Typhoon, we have the dispensary. It's semi-concrete. We would go in there uh, twice last year. We went in twice last year and um, it's not the greatest, but it gave us the concrete around us, the walls. It was nice. Nobody got hurt or, you know, nothing really bad had happened. On um, the protocol, let's say we would have to pack up and go to the dispensary because it's semi-concrete. So can you tell me a little bit about, like, the um, Million questions. concrete house that you guys hide in? I mean, Minkut was the intense typhoon, right, for you guys? Okay, yeah. Well... Um, the building is like Civic Center, that size, and um, we, the boys took the walls down because they're supposed to come up here to fix it up, but they're having problems with that, and that's what we were waiting for, we're waiting for them to come here, but other than that, the um, building, I don't think it's got foundation on it, it's just a square concrete box on top of the ground, but the top, it's... It's still very strong. Um, it should be able to leak a little bit this time because they took a lot of stuff out of the building. But yeah, typhoons once a year, but this time we have a lot. None of us got hurt or our buildings, none of the buildings flew away. I was uh, reading through some of your stuff. You sent me that SD card with all the pictures and like some like written pages. And you mentioned that when Mankut was passing by, you were worried about um, scorpions falling down on you <gasps> from the roof. 
Can you tell me a little about that? I didn't want to say that. Can I tell them the truth about the concert? Well, um, 